Good evening. We gather again for night prayer with the God of comfort and the God of compassion. So we take a moment or two, settling with the one who is for us. May the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We bring this day its joys, its sorrows, its challenges to God, giving thanks and leaving our cares with him. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Yesterday we were thinking about the first part of two verses, as God as the source of comfort, 2 Corinthians 1, 3-4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. God comforts us that we might comfort others. We learn to comfort, don't we, from the comfort that we have received. Comfort that hopefully we received as children. Comfort that we have received from friends and others. Comfort from family. We learn comfort because it's something that is deep inside us. Created in God's image, we learn to comfort. And we receive comfort both from God and from others. And we are to pass that on. The comfort very often that we receive from others is part of God's gift of comfort to us. We can receive direct from him and we can receive as we receive from others. I know that each of us will have comforted others and indeed been comforted by them. Let's let God use us to bring that comfort and to point people to him, the comforter. So we pray. Loving God, Father of compassion, thank you for the ways in which you have surrounded us with care and compassion. Help us to grow in that, that we might share all that we receive from you and that others might find the comfort that they need in times of trouble and find your love. Amen. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night, all who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe, to bring compassion and comfort. For each one, let your comfort and your power to heal flow, to restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. And now may God kiss the top of your head with his blessing. May he consecrate your hands for his caring, cleanse your feet for his journeying, and fill you with love for his living. Amen. Bless you and sleep well. <laughs>